How many of you have learned one thing that you can use on Monday? Awesome. So uh, my session is going to be Tech Tools for Common Core. And I, I really love my iPad a lot, but I was trying to use some internet applications that we can use for Common Core. And um, as I mentioned in my previous session, um, I don't really like PowerPoint all that well. And so I did little handouts that ha it has a QR code that will take you to the link. But if you do not have a QR code reader, the actual link to where I'm going is right below it. And I'm using Symbaloo to sort of gather up all of my resources. And so I have up here on the screen uh, what the actual website goes. And I love this. And this is a great tool also, and I've got a few others to show you. If you are having students gather up research materials and they're out there searching for stuff when you're looking at Common Core, this is great because it's sort of, vi I'm a visual person. And so I see this and all of my links that I'm going to be sharing are all up there. And if I don't get to all of them because I only have 20 minutes, they're still up there. And I can add to it. And same thing with your students. You can have them create a symbol and they can uh, bookmark and I will, um, it's really easy to use and you can have all of your resources in one area. So this is the actual website, but I'm going to uh, mirror from my iPad because they also have an, it's an iPod app as well. And so I have it on my iPod so that I can just take you to all of the links as well. So let me switch out here. Gotta love. Woohoo! All right. All right, so I am using my reflector app that's downloaded on my uh, computer to sort of screen my iPad here. And it's great minimum cost. And I'm able to walk around and monitor as well. So, um, and some of the things that you are going to hear, you may have heard in another session, which is totally awesome because we have all found different tech tools that work for us. And what works for us may not necessarily work for someone else. And as I stated earlier, technology is just the tool. Look at your learning outcome first, and from there, figure out what kind of technology you can use to help reach that learning outcome. And so these are some tools that I have. My first one that I like is Glogster. thinking about coming up. I love all, this people, all these people in there. Glockster is great. Multimedia posters, interactive posters. So instead of doing just that simple poster you do, go out there and let them read and find that digital content and bring it into one place. And then with Glockster you can share it. So my big thing is an authentic audience. They are going to be creating and writing for an authentic audience. And so Glockster it's one that you can use. You can also look at several other posters that I've already created, that have been created. And so you can go through there. We're slow. I may have you click on, and I may go back to the internet one, and I'll just change the plans. Uncon. All right. Excellent. All right, I'm back. All right, so Glogster is great. Also, you can use it. You can have, you know, set up and, and Glogster. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And so you can set it up and you can have it uh, glogster.edu and sort of have an educational account as well. They also have an iPad app if, you're, if you have iPads and you want to look at that. So interactive. It's not just the typical, let's draw some things. You can pull in all kinds of multimedia. All right, next. I got my, he's, he didn't know he was going to have to work. So. All right. All right, I talked about Animoto um, earlier in my app session as well, but I really love this for uh, slideshows and uh, making them interactive. And all your students have to do is they upload pictures and then they can talk about it. They can record themselves. And um, it looks really professional. And it's really easy to do. It does not take a lot of time. Because I'm, I'm looking at, you know, what are my students going to be able to do in the future? They're going to have to, pre they're going to, have to make things. They're going to have to present them to people. And so having these to share, and you can easily put together. Um, if you go under Hope In there, this is my, go to My Videos. 
I play around with it a lot. I even have my students do it uh, for a project. And so they had to create sort of a, um, a project with it this summer. Uh, but you can, it looks great. So if you're wanting to advertise something in your school, I know this isn't comical, but you're wanting to get out there, you can create this professional looking video. Um, but you can also have them talk about something and go deeper. So, you know, if I have the brain here, I might go deeper and I can pull in some different tools with that. All right, the next one, I'm trying to get, is Storybird. And Storybird is great for that collaborative digital writing. And um, it, you can create the stories, you can read the stories. They're beautiful. Like the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Um, so you can take that and you can have them uh, work with it. Like I said, my focus on technology tools are to look at those 21st century skills, you know, the creativity, the collaboration, the communication, and so getting their thoughts on paper as are on the with the tools as well, instead of necessarily uh, doing uh, paper. All right, next one. Okay, Vokey, Vokey. I love Vokey, it's similar. Uh, Telegami was an app I shared earlier, but uh, a lot of, if you look in the Common Core standards, there's a lot about, you know, presenting and speaking and listening, and a lot of kids are really nervous about that. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, that's the number one, like, fear is public speaking. You all make me really nervous, you know, but if you're a little bit smaller, I, you know, might not be as ner nervous, but, you know, I use this as, it's their alter ego. And so they can create this Vokey. It's, a, it's an avatar that they create and it talks. And so they can change up. And it's, they've got like cute like little animals that they can do. And they have um, other uh, ones that you can do. You can also have the Vokey classroom. And so you can set up a classroom account as well. So Vokey is great to have that alter ego. Let them talk about it and let them explain things and get deeper with the topics as well. Capsules. Anybody use capsules before? Love capsules. It's an interactive uh, timeline, and so you're you're studying something, and they can you can create a timeline on like a certain historical event, or if you're reading something a novel together, you can have them create a capsule timeline. And it's interactive as well. That's my big, it's interactive, it's engaging. They're pulling in the materials. They're analyzing, evaluating the information and pulling it in together. So capsules is another one. Now, is, this, is there an app for that? Because it says it has to have flash. It now has an iPhone app. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Tiki Talky is another one that's very similar to capsules. Tiki Talky. And so Tiki Talky, um, these are absolutely gorgeous. I remember like trying to, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so trying to draw that straight line and then talk about it. And then it was, you know, 2D. And I had the things that I had written, and then that was it. And it was presented. But with this, you can pull in some videos. You can pull in some other things as well. So, and then you can have them share it. And they can share it with the class, they can share it with the community, they can share it with grandma and grandpa that's in California as well. So, ticky talky. All right, go animate. Another one that's great for creating animated videos. I love doing these and sending them to my friends as well, you know, instead of just sending a regular announcement. And once again, this is great because it's sort of an alter ego and they can talk about it, you know, if those students are nervous about necessarily, you know, working on it. So build their confidence and, and then they can get up and they can share and you can like do some type of animated lesson for your own class and show your, show your students, you know, the idea or talk about it in a different way. And so their, their brains are rewiring all the time because this isn't what we normally do as well. So go animate. I'm going through quickly, so I want to share just a little bit about each one of these. Because like I said, like I said, you know, uh, my little meme creator, um, I need a professional development for technology, said no student ever. 
all right, because they get the tools and, and they can do a lot more than I can. Blabberize, great job to take pictures and then you can make them talk as well and it's a lot of fun. So once again, uh, showing them how to do the digital, yes. Oh yeah, do you mind clicking on the sample there? Yeah, yeah, it is funny. is that you know I look how you know it's awesome yeah oh Mount Rushmore great ideas yeah very good so it's in a different class foreign language class as well uh, voice thread I because I linked to my but voice thread is great you can uh, I think some other people talked about voice thread earlier today as well but you can put all this stuff and then you can have that dialogue, that conversation. And students can, or, and even the teachers, you can type in, you can record, you can do the webcam, so you can um, have that uh, conversation piece going on as well. Um, so VoiceThread. Um, so there, you know, there are now some costs with it. At first it was like really free and stuff for educators, so now you gotta sort of work around it to get the free account and so if you want, want some access to that just let me know voice thread okay. Jing Jing is great for the flipped classroom you can um, you can create uh, videos talking about whatever you're talking about in class and record it and then upload it for the students to use later or you can have the students use Jing um, Screencast-O-Matic is another one that's very similar to that. So uh, once again, this is free and you can download it and you can qu create quick videos and talking it and going deeper. That's, that's my big thing in the conversation, going deeper with the, so math classes are using Jing a lot, uh, science, social studies as well, talking about different concepts. Of course, I love Wordle and Taxedo and all of those. Uh, you can have them, you know, I, I have the Wordle that someone did for uh, the Common Core State Standards and Technology and then all the big key words pop up, the, most, the words that are used a lot and it's amazing. What, if you look at the one for Common Core and Technology, the Wordle, which words pop up like communicate, collaborate and you're like, yeah, that makes sense that you can use technology for those and so you can have your students create these on different topics you know uh, look at a text and and look at the text what words are coming out to you in the text and then you know you can have them compare and talk about it as well so wordle um, is one and then we'll skip yes ah, yes that's why we're here wordle, we, we, we use wordle for speeches mm -hmm. Great idea, woo woo for her, yes, yes, great, this is why I love this, analyzing it and they're evaluating it as well, great idea, so, you know, any subject, you can, you can do that as well. All right, so we'll skip that one, uh, photo babble will skip, all right, this one, yes, all right, thing link, yes, love thing link, I, um, I want more time to play with thing link. Um, hopefully uh, in the next few weeks I can but um, we'll scroll we're gonna look at one uh, if you'll just uh, yeah look at this bring your own device one here there are so many really good ones that are already out there and there's so many ideas um, I've shared this in my class and it was amazing the ideas Oh, it's exciting, and you get to school the next morning, and you hit play, and the district's blocked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
And, you know, yeah, that happened. I wish, you know, all these people are like, well, I only have this in my classroom or this technology doesn't work. And I was like, I wish I could fix everything for you and I could wave my magic pixie. Yes, it would be awesome because, you know, but one of the things that I recommend is get, like, work with the people who make those decisions and the IT people and sort of collaborate together and, you know, share, you know, get in there and talk about, hey, you know, this is why I'm doing this and you know show them this is my learning outcome from using this as well so does it always work no I wish you know yeah. but yes thing link is one and you, and you can make it interactive and you can click on the different things and and you can type in there you can bring in video uh, this is great beginning of the year you have like I know this is not common core but I have to go off on teacher and I like ideas but you can like create one for your class at the beginning of the school year with all of that information that goes home and sometimes it gets lost and you can have you know different things like that or and then the students can create this on the different content areas as well all right let's see picks for learning I love picks for learning this is a great tool for finding that free copyright friendly images for education and so your student this is a safe place for your students to go and be able to find those pictures so if they want to create a slideshow or they want to bring in some things so picsforlearning.com is a great tool and they can search for what they're looking for and they're able to use it how awesome is that yeah. yes I wish I would have thought of that <laughs> all, all of this stuff all right Let's see. Of course, I have to plug the TennesseeCore.org website from the State Department of Ed. They are getting lots of resources out there, and they're putting out some new things and ideas for you. So I, I put it, you know, I know all of the other ones that a lot of you go to and you get ideas, but keep watching this because it keeps updating, and they keep adding some resources on there as well. All right. LearnZillion.com is another great one um, to help your students get lessons and ideas. I'm trying to um, add some of these, and so if you guys, ha as I add to my Symboloo, come across some, let me know let, so I can add it as well. And you can get some ideas on there as well. Let's see. Let's, let's go down here to the corner. Yeah. Leno it. You know, I love this. Um, I use it all the time. Great for discussions, brainstorming, collaboration, ideas, uh, you know, exit tickets. You know, what did you, you know, what was the thing that really stuck out to you? So it's, it's free. You can collaborate together. You can post different ideas. There are all kinds of these. All right. You don't, if you don't like this one, you can choose another one to use because there's another one that's just as good out there as well so Leno it and it has an app poplet is another one that and it's great for that mind mapping that you know and and collaborating also as well I'm going to put a plug in for that one because we're all into data walks right now and analyzing the data I had a principal the other day that said can you give me an app and we talked about this one and it actually did a very good job excellent Awesome, awesome. So you hear someone from district looking at how to use this as well. Padlet is another one. That, and you just build a wall and you can share and collaborate together as well. Uh, next one. Bubble Us. You know, I love this, you know, to create a graphic organizer. Organize your thoughts and ideas. And then you can also collaborate and work on it together as well. So bubble us is one. Yeah. And then the other one is Glyphly, mm -hmm. or Glyphy, Glyphy. And so it's another one that you can create flow charts, diagrams. So it's a way to organize the thinking and getting the ideas down. And so, you know, when you're looking at that deeper thinking, I'm the type of person I like to organize my ideas first. And, you know, I'm not always, some people are the checklist people.
Some people like it different ways. And so you can have all kinds of different things with this as well, the Gliffy. Creately is another one. I'm just trying to show you all kinds of different ones. Creately, diagramming and collaborating. And so you can work on things together as well and organize. So it's very similar. Okay. We'll go over here. I can't remember. All right. Writing. And you're looking for, like I said, an authentic audience. Kid blog is a safe place for students if you want them to blog and to get things out. You can talk about anything. On there, so Kid Blog is a great one, and I think some of some of you may use some of these different app, or tools as well. So Kid Blog is one, and then um, Edu Blogs is the same, and then um, it's very similar. So you find something that works for you, if it doesn't necessarily work for you. Uh, Weebly, Weebly is great. It's a free website creator. I love this. My son, um, was, he was in sixth grade last year, and so for a project, he created a fake website for his project. And he um, took a QR code for the teacher to scan to get to the, the website. And so he took it all, and he got really, and he loved it. And he thought, man, this is going to take forever. But it was not, and so it was great for him to, to be able to use that. And then a few other tools. Um, these are just over here. These are great for that researching that bookmark. Digo is one that you can use. Uh, gather all that information, but like especially like the younger one. I, I'm a I mentioned earlier. I'm visual, so that's why I like Symbolu. But this is a great way. Porta Portal. All of those that are on that uh, side will be great for you to use to sort of bookmark everything. Mm -hmm. And they had to analyze that current event topic and highlight and make comments about yes. the pieces within the article. Yes. Which is very common. Yes. And so, you know, they're in there and they're interacting with that text and they're getting, and they're, you know, really looking at the text as well. So, you know, you have my symbol thing. If you guys come up with stuff, like, I want this to be a great place where we've got all these different things and we've got Common Core coming from all over and we've got people here from all over the state. And so be able to share and like, and like I said, what works for you may not necessarily work for someone else. So I hope that you have taken something from this and that maybe you can use some of this and see how you can take those and make them ready for the future, your lovely students. So have a great day. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's a bookmark. You've got the access information, so.